There are only two things I'm an absolute expert at. Art evaluation of old ship's captain portraits gradient painted into a seascape. <laughs> and objective beauty, which is kind of the same thing. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about objectively beautiful and simple things you can do on acoustic guitar, all right? This is gonna be in what I consider the most beautiful key, the key of A major, all right? So we're gonna go over some really super simple chord shapes. They can make it sound like you really know some out there chords that are all gonna kind of coalesce and just end up in pure beauty. Just like an old ship's captain whose eyes are just poking through the stormy clouds looking over his vessel. All right, so what we're gonna do, the, the main crux of this lesson is leaving the high B and E strings open the entire time, okay? So, no bar chords necessary. In fact, once we kind of open up the top two strings, everything becomes so much easier as far as chords, right? You may have noticed I'm rocking the Luna Parlor guitar. This video is sponsored by Sweetwater and Luna. This thing is awesome. Uh, there's something about the size of a Parlor guitar that like this is what I actually play when I'm trying to wind down and just relax at night. This is so inexpensive. I'll have an affiliate link in the description. But let's start off with, uh, with this right here. All right, so this is what is starting to look like. It may appear to be an A major bar chord, but things aren't always what they appear. Just ask a good old ship's captain crossing the Atlantic. Your pointer finger's on the fifth fret of the E string. Your ring finger and pinky are on the seventh fret of the A and the D string. Your middle finger is grabbing the major third of A, that's a C sharp. Your middle finger is right there on the sixth fret of the G string, All right? But then the top two strings are open. So technically, this is an A major chord with a B and an open E, another E on top. So we could look at this as an A add nine, because remember, A, B is two, but since we already have the full chord, we go all the way around the octave, two is nine, A add nine, okay? All right, now the other important thing to note is the high E string, if we're opening that up, we could also open up the low E string. This would be an inversion where the lowest note of the chord is not the root note. So when I play something like this, and I play a lot of my songs in the key of A, or I'll use key of A shapes and tune down, because uh, then you get the people's key, you could get the key of G if you do it that way. But I'll kind of do this little... You can kind of get a little action on that that hammer on, and that's such an easy hammer on because it's the thickest string on your guitar. So that's like a really easy one to do, right? And then now, I'm a huge fan of going from the one chord to the four chord in any key, all right? And now there's a really easy way to do this while keeping these strings open, just by doing this right here. In fact, I've got a song coming out that has this, so stay tuned for that. But look, if I just put my pointer finger down a string, I keep my pinky exactly where it is, but lift my ring finger. Now I've got this D, A, B, C, D. D is the four of A. I've got this D major-ish chord. And I think that's just like a, re a really pretty one to four. And that open B and E string tie it together. So it's kind of like a glue that holds those chords together if you want to do it finger style I think it's super pretty to kind of just like pick it or you can play it with you know an actual pick to kind of get a little more of that attack in it again we can open up the a string to make it even easier so here's the a major chord with the open E here's that D major 7 ish chord with the open A Go back and forth. So now this is just one section of what we have right here, right? I think it's worth it to go through all the chords in this key and then just hear how they sound with the open B and E on top. Now the beautiful thing about this is we can do this pretty much with two entire shapes, all right? So we'll think of a major chord shape and then a minor chord shape, all right? So another way to play 
the A chord in the key of A as the one chord, is as a major seven chord. If you've watched my videos of before ever, you know that I turn everything into a major seven chord. So now it becomes an even easier shape where I've got my pointer finger still on the root note there of A, and then my ring finger and my pinky are bunched together now on the sixth fret. So it's almost as if we're kind of getting like an open tuning, like if you tune down to like open G or open D or something like that, but in standard, okay? So now when we do this, this could be our major seven chord, which like I said, works great on the A and the D, but we can do the same shape and just move it to the 10th fret right here. The one chord to the four chord. Remember, A, B, C, D. Technically in this key be A, B, C sharp. D. There's the one chord, and then if you ever want to go to the four chord but stay on the same string, you can just add five frets, right? So five to ten. One chord, four chord, A major seven ish, D major seven ish. Now in between. We have these minor chords, all right? The technical chords in this key would be B minor as the two chord and C sharp minor as the three chord, but we can do the same thing with these open B and E strings on top just by, check this out. So I've got, uh, see how these are offset from five to six? I can just go one fret higher and then now my middle finger is gonna grab the root note. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because now it keeps my middle finger, ring finger, and pinky in line to make a minor seven chord voicing, right? So again, when I have my pointer finger holding down the root note, I'm thinking major. If my middle finger is holding down the root note, I'm thinking minor. Now the great thing about these shapes is these are totally movable in any key if you don't wanna have that high B and E string popping out, right? Like let's, let's take a, Let's take something where B and E wouldn't necessarily sound great in the key, right? Like if we were in like F sharp major, that sounds terrible. But if I just kind of avoid those top strings, I can go and play all the chords like that, right? Just with a closed voice. But again, we're making things beautiful, right? Just like that old ship's captain. Don't sleep on paintings of ship captains, I'm telling you. If you need any evaluation, any art appraisals, send your ship captain paintings to the email listed below and uh, I'll let you know what it's worth, okay? But here's the two chord. All right, so here's B minor, seven, but with another B on top and an E, okay? Now again, we could talk about the actual name of this. It's like, all right, well, the nice thing about uh, that B is it's just another B, right? So it's another extra root note. But now we have an E to a B minor seven. So where, let's go through the alphabet, B, C, D, E. That would be the fourth note away from B. But remember, we already have that chord built. So we would just add four to seven, which is 11. This is like a B minor 11, or add 11, something like that. Again, the names of the chords don't matter. It's really just about the vibe. Just like when you're appraising ship's captain's painting, it's not about the artist. Nobody knows the name of the artist because it's kind of a it's kind of a trope at this point. There's nothing really creative about overlaying a ship's captain's face into a stormy sky above a ship, which I like to call a vessel now. <laughs> it's about the vibe, right? So, that's just the two chord. Do the same thing a step higher for the three chord. C sharp minor seven to D. So here are our four chords right here with two shapes, right? We can even use that other minor chord shape and let's go, let's go further down. Let's go to the sixth chord in the key of A. Let's back it three frets, the relative minor, which if you've watched my videos before, you know that that's where the minor pentatonic scale sits, right? Check out the Patreon for more of that. But there's another one right there. Also, I mean, this this guitar is also objectively beautiful. This is These are so inexpensive. They come with electronics, uh, built-in tuner, and uh, even just like the tuning pegs on this are like the, the upgraded ones. Shout out to Luna. I did another video uh, last month on their Vista Eagle guitar, which is just, 
another objectively beautiful tower. Shout, really, really shout out to, to Luna for making just beautiful instruments that are fun to pick up and play. So again, anything you ever get from Sweetwater, please use my affiliate link. It really helps the channel out a lot. Keeps me, uh, keeps me buying these ship's captain's paintings that I have just littered literally everywhere all over my house. But uh, there's the six chord, F sharp, minor seven. The one chord, A, major seven. The two chord, B, minor seven. Three chord, C sharp, minor seven. Four chord, D. We gotta get that five in there. All right, so here's the shape that we'll use for five. This is the only time we ever have to change the shape. This is an E, A, B, C, sharp, D, E. E is the five of A. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 12, 11, 12, 13. Still keep that open B and E, which isn't necessarily any different how you normally play an open voiced E7 chord, open two, open one, open, open. There you go, there's your granddaddy's E7. And there's your granddaddy piloting a vessel on the Atlantic Ocean, E7. But they can all end on A. Okay, so now let's start moving them around and try to make something pretty, okay? Now I can think of them as numbers, which I always think is really great because once you know the numbering system, you can communicate with the musicians so much easier. It's like, let's do a, a one, four, six, two, right? One. Four. Six. Two. And that's just with two shapes. That, that one chord shape, that major chord. I keep the same shape, I just move it five frets higher to get to the four chord. Back to the relative minor. There's the six chord, the two chord, maybe three, four, five. Five always leads you where? I mean, how beautiful is that, right? So, again, something to make, it really makes all the chords easier. I think it sounds better, and it be better is objective, you know? I, I think it sounds prettier. I think it maybe is a more inspiring thing. And like I said, the reason, the, the reason I like this parlor guitar is because it's a smaller body size, too. So it's a good one just to kind of have around. And like I said, I always reach for the, the smaller body guitars when I'm just kind of relaxing and jamming. Just, you know, almost mindlessly, like if I just have like a show on in the background or something and I'm just kind of strumming. These are the kind of things that I personally play. So I just kind of thought I'd share, share that with you because it's just a relaxing way to wind down. So check it out. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, really, hit that affiliate link. Check this guitar out on Sweetwater because uh, it's always just great to have one of these around. And again, it's, it's an inspiring thing to look at. Uh, even has the little moon inlays, which is kind of cool as you go throughout the neck. So thank you to Luna. Thank you to Sweetwater. Thank you to people who paint these ship's captain's paintings. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot.